Halo has evolved the first person shooter and video games in general. We may not have games like Call of Duty or Killzone without it. So with the recent release of Halo 5, I decided to rank the 7 main Halo games from worst to best. Before I begin, I want to express that I like every Halo game, but there are honestly gems in the turds. I won't be counting mobile games or Halo Wars because they aren't really the same as the other games. Or the Halo Master Chief Collection because it's just the first 4 games um, combined and prettier. Even though they're all good in their own aspect. Also, I played all the games from campaign and the respective multiplayer, so I will be pulling each aspect into my ranking. Once more, this list is my own personal opinion. So if you disagree with my choices, feel free to express your opinions below in the comments. Just keep it civil. Without further ado, let's begin. Halo ODST isn't technically a standalone game. It is meant to be a DLC for Halo 3, but it still counts as one to me. The game just felt small and out of place and just, uh, you know, it just didn't compare to the trilogy. I'm also not very fond of the fact that I didn't really care about the ODST characters. It was an interesting concept that was executed poorly in my opinion. It is not a bad game, it's just kind of... okay. That's why it's number 7 on this list. Three Four Three's first attempt at the Halo franchise was okay. I honestly feel like they were trying to think outside the box. However, by thinking outside the box, they kind of lost the magic that was Halo. Choosing to make it feel more like Call of Duty rather than Halo. It's for this reason the multiplayer seemed that it was trying too hard to be something that it just wasn't meant to be. Then it comes to the campaign. I couldn't bring myself to finish it originally when I first started playing. It didn't know what it wanted to be. Sure, they had to pick off where Bungie left off, and although it was tough, the first two levels weren't that bad. It was level 3, 4, and 5 that just didn't grab me. Halo 4 was overall an alright game in my opinion. The first Halo showed up on the original Xbox many, many, many years ago. However, I had a PS2 and never played Combat Evolved until it was re-released in the anniversary form. I used to hear stories and tales of how epic Halo 1 was when I used to play Halo 2 and Halo 3, so I expected it to retain that praise. However, I do understand why, at its time, it was seen as a revolutionary achievement to gaming. I personally feel that the campaign's level design just doesn't hold up. It was way too repetitive and it didn't live up to the legend I used to hear of back in the day. Now let me make this clear, Halo Combat Evolved is still a great game. It just doesn't stand up to the sequels in my opinion. Which is a good thing, the sequels should improve on the original. Now, if I had to play this game when it first came out, it may be a different story, but I did not, and that's why I think Halo Combat Evolved is number 5. I got into the Halo universe through this game. Granted, it was near the end of its life cycle, but I remember reversing my friends on split screen and having a blast. This game had many memorable quotes and scenes, from the bridge level to the scarab fight, there are so many iconic scenes. And who could forget Master Chief's finishing quote, Sir, finishing this fight. The multiplayer and the campaign rocked, and I really loved every second of it. In fact, I'm one of those people here who actually loved the Arbiter, and didn't mind playing as him. I'm sure to 50% of Halo fans, this is their favorite pick of all the Halo games. But in my opinion, although it's good, it isn't the best. Stick around to the end to find out which Halo game is truly number one. Many people probably disagree that Halo 5 is a little better than Halo 2. But before you sharpen your pitchforks and light your torches, let me explain my reasoning. After Halo 4's disappointment, I felt that Halo had finally died. I thought 343 had took a dump on the entire franchise and my favorite game will go away now. But I took a chance with Halo 5, and it restored my faith. Even though the campaign isn't on par with Halo 3, it is still better than Halo 4. Multiplayer feels like a quicker paced version of Halo 3 multiplayer, which is great. And Warzone is a very good addition as well. Now of course there are some cons and I'll explain my dislikes and what I want to see in Halo 5 in a future video. But for now Halo 5's multiplayer has got it number 3. <music> the 
This is such a great game that sometimes gets swept under the rug when talking about great Halo games. The campaign rules, the multiplayer rocks, and the customization towards the Spartan is fun and enjoyable. From my first game to my last, I will always have a blast. This game is one of my top 5 favorite games of all time. The story is incredible, the campaign is fun, and the multiplayer was awesome. I look at Halo 3 as a more developed Halo 2 in many ways, and I love it. I spent many, 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 many hours playing this game with my friends, and I grew up with it. This is why, in my opinion, Halo 3 is the best game out of the entire Halo franchise. Do you agree with my list? How would you rank your favorite Halo games from worst to best? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. And until next time guys, see ya!